Yo, what's up guys? Chase the Bro here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Bloodhound Claws, a weapon of the Claw class that does pretty well on a few different infusions, although I do recommend using the Occult Infusion on an Arcane build. They have natural blood loss buildup, and investing in Arcane also increases the blood loss buildup of the Occult Infusion weapon, so you get the damage output and the bleed buildup all tied to one stat, just the most optimal that way in my opinion. As for the moveset of the Bloodhound Claws, very similar to the other dual wield claw weapons when they are in their dual wield form, they have really fast dual wield light attacks. Not the best poise damage, so you do need to be careful that your opponent doesn't poise through enough damage you, but with the blood loss buildup, you can trade sometimes and it'll be beneficial. The running light attack comes up pretty quickly, very easy for roll catch since it does attack and has some pretty good range, so if you do stun your opponent you can go for the roll catch that way. The running heavy is good as well, it does have the consecutive attacks though, useful in different scenarios, I think I use the running light quite a bit more though. The Bloodhound Claws are regular smithing stun upgrade weapons, so we do have access to interchangeable Ashes of War. I did not know I could put Impaling Thrust on most claw weapons, so I'm going to be trying that out. And then on the other one I believe I have Raptor of the Mist, though so that can work really well for some surprise bleed build up on the dual wield attacks. As for my choice of talisman, my first slot I start off with the Ritual Shield Talisman to enhance my defense, and then I'll probably throw on the Claw Talisman, I do like jump attacks with these weapons. The Shard of Alexander is there to boost all the different Ashes of War, and then I have the Crimson Amor Medallion plus 2 for the HP boost, and the Bulgo Talisman for the poise. That is all I have to say about the weapons though, let's just see how they perform in the duels and in the invasions. Alright, heading into our first match, we have Rin. Hello there, Rin. How are you? Alright, uh, okay, we'll get our crab going. Rin has a bow, probably a light roll as well, I'm going to guess. Oh, sleep arrows, okay. Whoop. You know what I wondered? <laughs> I was thinking that might work. Oh, a little slow on that there, Rin. There we go, we got Lirin's light roll there. That that went in me, but it didn't hit me. Very strange. I want to try to trade with that, since that's the only way we're going to be dealing with it. I'm going to have to use my sleep bolluses as well. Let's straight that a little bit. This is when a long range Ash of War would be very useful. We just gotta stay close to Rin and avoid the procs from the sleep arrow. There we can poise it a little bit as well. A little bit of blood loss there. Good fight Rin. Interesting use of the arrow. Honestly it can be very hard to punish light roll. And if you're just using sleep arrows like that, yeah you can definitely get a really big damage hit off. If they get slept. Moving on to our next opponent we have Salt Angler. Hello there, wielding what looks like... Okay, two halberds. Stomach attack! <laughs> oh, nice! What are the chances he's rolling Raptor of the Mist? Hey, hey, hey. Ah, I knew you were going to do that. <laughs> I am the better Raptor of the Mister. Um, Katar maybe? Yes. <laughs> Impaling thrust on a fist weapon looks pretty hilarious, but I like it. I'm going to try to make it work. Oh, I poised that. <laughs> I did a lot of damage though, like a third of my HP, a little bit more. Fun fight though, man. Moving on to our next opponent, we have Cheese. Hello there, Cheese. How are you? So we're going to be using Royal Knight Resolve with the uh, War Pick. <laughs> wow, I don't know how we both missed each other there, but I'll take it. That could have been pretty damaging to me. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try and quick step his jump attack. Nice. <laughs> that worked pretty well. Maybe I can do it again. Oh, we almost did it again. <laughs> now my jump attack. Into the backstab attempt. Another backstab attempt. <laughs> backstab. <laughs> Honestly, quick step on these is uh, pretty powerful. Wanted to give that a try for some pressure, but ended up getting some good backstabs. That was a good build to fight it with it, though. He was going for jump attacks, so. Heading into the next battle, we have Ludis. I have no idea, actually. 
with a sorcery and Zyander, okay. So we're gonna be using, uh, okay. I kinda wanna maybe make him fire his swords. Now he's gonna wanna use his sword, so. <laughs> Good way to cover your cast, but unfortunately. Can I backstab that with that? Ooh, that is some good frostbite buildup, my friend. Gonna watch out for that. What do we have on this? We have Storm Stomp. Okay, that could actually work. I don't know how much poise he's rocking, but... Hmm. We're gonna do this. Can I get an attack off that? No. He rolled out beforehand. I don't have the range needed to punish. Okay, maybe the quick step then, honestly. Oh, my R1 did not come out there. I don't know why, but it did not. I ran up to him, and I just did nothing. Oh, that is some good damage with the blood loss. Very fun fight, Mr. Wizard, with the Moon Veil and the Zvi Handle. Interesting. I like using Waves of Darkness to cover your cast. I just happen to have Freezing Pots. Oh, our next opponent, never give up. Hello there. I like your fashion. Reminds me of Sigurd. Hello there. Um, so what do we have? We have a straight sword. Do I get the R1 off that with the dual wield? I do, it seems like. Wasn't 100% at first, but... Okay, we got some good trades out here. Oh, the blood loss stunned him. Oh, okay. Oh, that was well-timed. <laughs> that perfectly placed me to punish the Ash of War. But I love the use of the straight sword, honestly. The stance Ash of War can be pretty good. The R2 one on the straight sword, especially, has really good range. Moving on to our next battle, we have Seven Stormblood. And I have Cragblade. I figured it would pair pretty well with these. It worked well with the fist weapon, so I feel like we can do some good work with this. Yeah, honestly, I love that Ash of War. It looks so nice. I might swap to the quick step eventually. We can kind of counteract that. Ooh! Didn't expect that to hit me. Did I stun you? <laughs> See, Storm Stomp with certain things doesn't work the best. I didn't find it the best with these weapons either, personally. I'm gonna heal the. Aww, blood loss. I'm gonna say now he knows. R2. Oh, these lack the range needed. Delay the hit. Oh, I should have did it right away. I don't think he would have expected it. <laughs> that was a good trade for me, honestly. It worked out better for me than him. Fun fight, man. I got some good damage output on him during the Storm Stomp. Because these attack so quickly. You got like a few hits during it. Heading into the next battle. Uh, nice armor set you have there, sir. <laughs> Very reminiscent of what I'm wearing. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> oh, I thought he'd do the finger thing with me. Like, to point at each other. Oh, okay. I'm ready. Are you ready? Let's go. Mogwin Spear versus... Are you heavy rolling, sir? <laughs> oh, God. He is heavy rolling. You're gonna go right over there. Boop. Nice. <laughs> Fun fight, man. <laughs> Nice fashion you had going on there. I prefer mine without the cape, though. Heading into the next battle, we have Elden Lord. And I decided to use Bloodhound Step because it is the Ash of War of this weapon. So we may as well give it a try. <laughs> Plus, I can cover some pretty good distance that way. I feel like, it's pretty fun to give that a shot. That's some really good Frostbite build up. I'm going to dodge that. Sorry, sir. I just wanted to eat my uh, anti-Frostbite here. I want to backstab you. <laughs> I wanted him to come in for that so I can do that and get a backstab. Uh. <laughs> but it's hard to do against a wizard. I will be... Oh! Completely honest. I got that weird skip animation. Where you're like running and you, you pivot too quickly. <laughs> ah! I need to get behind you, sir, but you're using spears. Difficult to deal with. There we go. Ah, uh, still missed though. That one I got, nice. <laughs> Very nice. I just wanted to land that. 
Very fun fight though, Mr. Frostbite Spear. Those are pretty scary too though. Moving on to our next battle, we have a Barath. Hello there, Barath. Oh, body buff, okay. I will use my crab. What do you have, sir? A whip. Interesting. Probably a decent amount of poise as well. Okay, what can we add to this? Maybe my jump attack? Oh, that had to be an accident, right? Yeah, that was definitely an accident. Nice! I'm getting kind of clean with that. It's hard to time that. Whoa. Ow. I want to do it one more time because it's fun. No! I messed up. <laughs> oh well, we'll just <laughs> finish with the R1s. Awesome fight though. I do enjoy the dual whips as well. I think those are my preferred. Since they have the bleed, you can occult and tease them. They do such good damage. <laughs> Alright, our final opponent will be Doritos Locos. Alright, Doritos. What do we got? Oh. <laughs> um, a little bit of pyro. Interesting. Bum bum bum. Oh, the R2. Interesting. Trade into that. Okay, so probably some good lead buildup going on on Doritos here. There was indeed. <laughs> okay, so he wants to go for that R2 really badly. I don't know why. We got some good blood build up there. Chip damaged him. If you can land the R2, you can do some good damage, but I don't know if it's going to work out. <laughs> Very good fight, Doritos. Very close fight. I don't often see... I don't even know what kind of build that was. I guess a strength build. All right, heading into the first invasion and I cannot see. <laughs> this is blizzarding. Oh, oh, I'm here. I thought I was on the open lake area. All right, I'm getting close. Hello, Deanne, hello. I'm just gonna drink this physic here. So I don't know how many you have. Are you alone? You are indeed alone. And <laughs> I did get that backstab. Uh, let's run that resolve. And maybe try the running R2 when he tries to heal. Okay, he's got Bloodhound still. He wants to uh, heal? So maybe he's just going to wait out the blue? Oh, was that one of the hits I did to him earlier? Oh. It was. Can I get around? Thank you. Wah. Maybe the blue will appear when, when needed. Oh, we have a really bad connection. Hold up, let me see here. Oh, that was my hit from earlier. <laughs> okay. Or maybe it's because the blue is summoning in. I never really take into account that when they have a phantom summoning into their world, sometimes it causes them pretty big packet loss. <laughs> that looked hilarious though. Looked like my knife did 900 damage. Moving into the next invasion. I'm in Liernia. And I've invaded Sarema. Hello, Sarema. Hello. You look set up. You're like prepared. I dodge your sorceries. Not those ones, unfortunately, though. Okay. I do want to see what the damage on the R2 would be like. Pretty good. Oh my god, 1200 damage, really? Okay, that's pretty monstrous. We killed you another one? These are just damaging in general. <laughs> To dodge the bleed. Oh god. This can be pretty aggressive. He's gonna go for the heal maybe? Oh, he's summoning. I didn't even, 
<laughs> oh, it's a hunter. Okay. Two lone hosts with the way of the blue on. Moving into the final invasion. We're in Grail's Dragon Barrow, and I've invaded Crow. I want to quick step backstab somebody. So let's just throw this on. Why, hello there, Yoshi means you. No, sir, I do... No, Crow. Crow, why? Why did you have to die to the gargoyle? And then the phantom. Why? Why? <laughs> and now, heading into the final invasion. There is no boss for him to die to. Oh, I guess there kind of is. <laughs> well, do you have any friends? No friends? Where are all those phantoms at? Maybe wait for a blue phantom. There we cross swords, Jin. Cross swords. <laughs> kind of want to wait to see if he gets uh, any type of phantom, but he's not looking like he is. I don't want to just finish you, Jin. You don't have a lot of HP either. Heal up. I have a bubble tear that'll pop. You don't have that. I want you to survive so that I can backstab you. You should heal, sir. So <laughs> Okay. Well, I guess it's just not in the cards for today. <laughs> Goodbye, sir. Alright, those are all the battles that I have for you guys for today with the Bloodhound Claws. I hope everyone enjoyed the showcase. Once again, there's my stats on the right, the armor that I enjoy wearing, the talismans that I mostly utilize throughout the showcase. Let me just put them in the right order here. And of course, keep commenting all the builds, ashes of war, and weapons you'd like to see in the showcases below. I am enjoying showcasing all of them. Until the next video, I will see you all next time. Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye. Goodbye.